Welcome to the new era of PrimeAG templates. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to integrate the new next generation Apollo template within your existing application. So Apollo is branded as next gen because it follows the best Angular practices, um, more uh, modern architecture, and it's been written from ground up. It was quite different from the old Apollo. So it's not a remaster, it's basically a remake. So, uh, Apollo is like, um, it has different many modes, dark mode, the mode and different themes as well. But the focus is on how to integrate it with your existing applications. To be able to do that, we have separated the demos and the core stuff like the sidebar, top bar and the you know, animations and the logic to open and close them. So everything resides in the layout folder, whereas the demo stuff like these dashboards and mail application, Kanban application resides in the demo folder. And for assets, you know, that's the you know, styling images and fonts, uh, it follows the same structure in the demo and the layout. So uh, to begin with, um, I'd like to show you how to move this stuff to your existing application. Okay, so I'll move this here. And let me just close this one. So this is my sample application with a home page. It just says, welcome, this is your empty page. And this is the application that we'll be, we will be using to uh, embed Apollo. So it's a basic PrimeNG angle application. Notice that we have PrimeFlex, PrimeMicros and PrimeNG. The My page is the home page. It has nothing, just like an empty cart. The app component module is empty, just a route routlet. And the routing module root goes to my page. Okay, now if you check out the Apollo, we have this uh, layout folder. I will just move the layout folder to app and also uh, the assets app to my assets. Okay, now I have at my styles, I have the prime icons, prime ng core and prime flex. Notice that there's no built-in prime ng theme. I'll be using the one, the exclusive ones from Apollo, which is around 24. So let's add for the core layout structure. I would need assets, layout, styles, layout and layout SCSS. So that's the styling and fonts for you know sidebar, top bar, the main contents, and other other things. The style is here, and let's go to the theme. You may also use the PrimeNG theme from the you know they're, they're here, uh, the themes, but you can you can just move it to here. But if you like to do it dynamic, there are two ways. One way is the easiest way, which is just um, getting the index link here it will be outside of the angular application and move it to here so it starts with the indigo light if you'd like to bundle it um, since there are like 24 themes if you'd like to change it on the fly I have created another um, example about it with a custom web configuration so if you'd like to um, dynamically load different CSS you first need to configure webpack to create those and then switch them on the fly. But I kind of uh, like this approach as well. It's just simple, it just works. Uh, so there are two approaches. So we have the component theme for Prime NG. We have the layout um, uh, stuff, layout CSS, and also the layout module. Now, let's configure app So this is the app layout module. It will give you a nice template. You just import it and then add it to your ng module. And then go to your routing and say app layout component. So it will be app layout and the children path is again 
could be anything but it, it will be the root now and my page okay let's see what we have done we have let's run it as well to see if it will work so this is on the left side it's the default version now i have migrated that to apollo and um, the nice thing about it is that everything will just work the menu types you know and the dark mode and dim mode you can switch the themes as well and your existing application will not be affected because the new stuff that you move in are the external the layout folder and the layout assets in your application will be just uh, will continue as, as it was and all everything like if you have like stores and you know database connection rest api connections everything will just work we have just moved the page structure the page um, let's say layout template or the window to apollo and that's it so i think uh, i hope that you found this tutorial useful uh this apollo is the first next gen template we will be migrating all our templates to this new inf infrastructure and also for the older ones we will be remastering them for for a modern look and so on so see you on the next tutorial and thank you